I lost track, maybe December. I met you back in school. Have to follow all the rules. But when it came to loving, you really showed me something. Don't take no math to love. Only a fool would say it does. And we are back with another podcast. Welcome to a process, not an event. I'm here with Jacinia. What's, 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 what's happening? What's happening? It's the homie right here. So I'm here with the homie today. Uh, before we get into it, you already know I got to do the flowers. So before, before that, with, with you, Jacinia, uh, I never called you that. I know. Uh, with you, Jesse, <laughs> um, I just want to tell you, like personally, if y'all don't know her, y'all are going to know her very soon. Jesse has one, not only overcome shit, you know. Um, that she said she was gonna overcome. You, you, you did it, you done it, you done it. So clap, clap, clap to you. Uh, how I met you um, was through Sweet Green. How we met was yes. through Sweet Green, you know, yes, I don't know. Yes, yes. Glad that we're not working there, we're on different shit, you already know. <laughs> we, we ain't here to talk about Sweet Green. Yeah, Thank we ain't God. here, we ain't, that's free promo, that's free promo. Um, but uh, through knowing you through Sweet Green, I nev I'll never forget, I think I was clocking out and, hey. you know, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all, I don't even you? remember this story, so I don't even know yeah, what you're about to yeah. say right now. So go ahead nah, and finish. Nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to embarrass you, but uh, nah, go basically, ahead, you know, with Jessie, uh, she's always had this desire in terms of singing and, you know, broadcasting her talents out to the world. So, you know, it was a time in which we, I was clocking out and I walked past you and I, I saw that she was crying. I'm like, yo, what you crying about? Like, I thought it was some crazy shit. Like, what you crying about? Because knowing you, you're always mad, happy, mad. Yeah. If you know Jessie, you feel me? She's mad up and energetic and, ball, yeah. and, and, and good good vibes and shit. So um, in terms of me leaving, it was just like, yo, what's going on? You feel me? Like, what's going on with you? Mm -hmm. And I remember you were sad because you were supposed to be going to New York, I believe, to a, a America's Got Talent audition. You know, audition. So with that being said, me personally, I'm not that type of dude. Like, I cry. I mean, we're all human, but like, <laughs> fuck that shit. Like, yo. What can we do? How can we do it to make you, you feel me, yeah. chase your dreams? So I remember I was like, yo, you know, I record a little bit here mm -hmm. and there, you feel me? Yeah. And, um, you know, we made a song and we'll get into that later. Uh, but it's just such an honor to see you grown, like, just without those years. It's been like what six it years. Is. Yeah, it's been six years six since years. that. So and it you, feels like two. Yeah, bro, that's how, <laughs> that's how life goes. Life goes it feels like, like two. Life is like, in a blink of an me? eye, yeah. Yeah, in a blink of an eye, but within the blink of an eye, you've overcome so much and you're still doing it. So, Thank you know, Jacinia, the singer, uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? she, she, she's the real deal. So I'm definitely appreciative to know you and not only know you, like, actually, like, like, because people can be like, yeah, I know you. But not yeah, know they, like they don't you know. Yeah, yeah bro, they don't like, know Jacenia. Yeah, they don't know Jacenia. So like yeah. seeing that progress over time, a blessing, bro. Like Thank you, you bro. make me likewise, wanna, bro. Because yeah, I feel like we yeah. both we both progress. Yeah. And I apologize for you to have heard how I used to sound when we first <clears throat> started recording. <laughs> but up to now, I think it's a big facts, difference. Facts, facts. <laughs> when I was in the whip before we got here, before you know we linked up, I listened to Bonnie and Clyde which we did and I, I always listen actually always listen to that bro which is funny yeah and then and then and then i like listen to you know your newer songs and i'm like yo you have a whole different aura in terms yeah. of your, you know your strengths and all that so with that being said you know let's 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 stop doing that it's gonna we, we could talk for a minute but uh <laughs> it's a podcast once again it's a process not an event so we're about to get into that and how it's been a process for Jacinia. so uh discuss how 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 we met how what's, what's your like memories first before we get into between it. us bro yeah. like like you said we go way back mm -hmm. um when i met you i was basically in the process of uh just learning work mm -hmm. work ethic and just like actually daily life work right, so right. when i met you it was kind of like um that i met like work friends and stuff yeah. like that so when i found out that you did music it was almost just like a, every time i found out somebody did music around me it just brightened up like yeah. oh snap like this is my chance to like you know maybe yeah, i can up, write exactly yeah, yeah. and just collab and shit like that so yeah. um when i met you it was kind of I started to realize how it was to record. Mm -hmm. I never, I would write in my, sing it all day in my room, but when I met you, I remember you taking your laptop out and yeah. engineering, and I'm just <laughs> sitting there like, with my verse ready, like, I don't know Bad. what he's doing, but I know like, I want to hear how I sound. Bad. So Bad. it was Bad. just, um, 
everything happens for a reason type yeah, shit. Yeah, so like, yeah. I'm in the studio now when I go back and I think about those times yeah. and I'm like, I, I can do this. I used to yeah. sit here with, you know, saying yeah. with Jordan and do shit like this. So it's easy to me. So homie God to just puts people in, in your place for a reason. Facts, homie used to come with the notebook like. Yeah, like I got this ready and Facts. I, I was, you know, and I used to go back home and just listen to it and listen to what can I do better next mm -hmm. time. Word, word, word. So, as we get into it, we already know that you're an artist. What does music mean to you? So for me, it's more than just like music. Yeah. It's like people actually like feeling it. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like for me, that's just a, uh, that's kind of like my calling. And if I don't do it, it's like I'm being selfish. Right. Right. Everybody got a calling. So yeah. if, if life is calling you, better pick up, bro. Real, better yo. pick up. Cause Real. like I say, you know, I'll give you this. I don't really know, you know, we're, we're in nature right now. So we're yeah. hearing a lot of birds chirp. I don't, they know you, yeah, I don't know if you know uh, know about this, but do you know what happens when a baby bird can't fly? No. A mom pushes it out the nest. Oh, damn. And it dies. Not to get so dark, but that's like, that's how life is, you feel me? If you're not going for your calling, yes. And don't mistake your slow. calling yeah. for your gift either. Because yeah. my gift is singing and writing, yeah. but my calling is touching people. Yeah. And I could do that without music. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Listen to your calling. Jesse picked up. Will you pick up? I. Right. Will you pick up? Will you pick up? <laughs> All right. Um. So when did you first start making music? Since I was little, I used to always like perform. My brother used to dress me up and have me like in the kitchen in front of his friends singing, all that type of stuff. But I really started writing, writing. Um. I want to say like eight, nine years old. Mm. And like the first couple songs was real stupid, like about like soda mm -hmm. or like candy. Um. But then I really got into it uh, high school. When I went through some shit, I wrote a song about it and uh, it went by, it got viral. Yeah. Um, Is that the one that, song, that was on Facebook? Yeah, Fall for Your Type cover, right. female right. version, yeah. And that, I wasn't even singing, bro. I was I was talking, right. more so talking. Right. So talk that's about what it, I talk about it. Um, that, that song was basically what I went through, bro. The song kind of speaks for itself, but uh, I wrote it um, not thinking everybody was gonna hear it, so yeah. I put a lot of like my privacy into my my own experiences. Yeah. So when it touched like more than like freaking five hundred thousand people on Facebook, yeah. it was like being sixteen years old going through such a traumatic experience yeah. of like almost having a child. Yeah. Um, for me, it was like uh, I couldn't I couldn't let what happened to me um, not help let me help other people. Yeah. So yeah. I took it as just an experience as like another. You know, I'm gonna take. This other I'm going through, whatever, but I'm gonna help the next person. Losses teach you more than wins, dude. Exactly. I'm mean, gonna be honest with you, you know. Yeah. Experience I mean, gives you growth, too. Exactly, so. exactly. We're just being able to, because a lot of people, no lie, are scared to tell their stories. Of course. And, and, and like you said, you know, with you telling your story, you realize that you weren't alone. You yeah. know what I mean? In terms of what you've been through, you know, you're not the only girl that's been through that story. Exactly. And also, on top of it, what you've been through, you know, you might be so honed in on your own feelings and what you're going through. And then when you get that support, you're like, oh, shit, yeah. like I'm loved, you feel exactly. me? Like, yo, people really out here rocking with me, you mm -hmm. feel me? It's not even just the music, it's real life, like real real life shit. So, um, with that being said, what was your first song you ever dropped, if you can remember? Like, very Drop first song, yeah. on all platforms? That's all I'm gonna ask you. Yeah. So, was Bunny Cloud ever dropped on all platforms, the song that we made? Nah, it wasn't, really right? Yeah. So you're talking about dropped on all platforms, right? Um, I would say it was my song. I had a, I had dropped four songs. Maybe. My own, my own, you know, distro kid type shit. Like I just did all my own. I was ready for it. The world was still here when I had to say. But um, yeah, I dropped four songs. Um, obviously at the time I didn't have the people who were watching me watching me now like my fan base everybody supports me yeah. so it didn't do quite as well but I remember it was uh, in my bag uh, Muevete 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 yeah I had a song called X and um, the other song that I had actually the one of those the other song that I had do you remember like creating the EP and like what was the direction with it? 
Girl, I was I was making phone calls for a week. I'm like, I need cover art. Right, I had right, a digital right. artist doing right. what God knows what. I yeah. didn't know how I was gonna do the video for anything. Yeah, but yeah. I just kinda that's why I kinda understand when some artists are so quick to drop things. Yeah. Because I had that kind of experience in my time where I kinda got desperate. Yeah. Um, but it's always learning experience, happens yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Um yeah. but that's why I never blame people when they're so quick to drop things. But that was a lesson learned because yeah. never again. Now to get a song out of me, you guys gotta show me that you know what I'm saying, like y'all wanna hear it. My Word. songs are my baby, so Word. if you ain't gonna take Word. care of it, I'm not giving it to you. I hear that, I hear that. So with that being said, growing up, what did you do like in terms of dreaming? Like when you grew up, what did you wanna be? Like did you always vision this happen to you in terms of you being a singer? Like what was your vision in terms of you know, you know how little kids but I wanna be a firefighter. Yeah. You know, what was your what was your saying? I, I want to be a star. I always wanted to be like some someone big, and not just because of like fame and fortune, all that type of stuff, but um, just like uh, like seeing my names in marquees, like just my name. Like I used to just literally like dream about stuff like that, dream big. singing and dancing, uh, like Shakira, Selena, like from a young age. Um, that's kind of just always what I wanted to do. I feel like if I didn't do it, like I don't. Know. The funny thing is, in her and my contacts, her name is Jessie with a star. So that's mad <laughs> funny. It's mad funny that she said that. Um, with that being said, how has becoming an artist relate to your childhood? Like, you know, in terms of when you write, because we have our own conversations private. Yeah. Like, it's mad easy to write, and it's mad funny when people compliment your writing skills. But you're like, bro, I went through that, or like, that's yeah, my life. Like, like, it's just it's, writing. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just life. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, I didn't overthink it. Yeah, what you doing? What you mean in terms of, you know? So how do you, how do you relate your childhood to your music? You know, in a way, like you said, you know, earlier, your first song that you put out on Facebook was more so personal, what you went through. Yeah. Um, you use, do you use your childhood and what you've gone through as a coping mechanism, or do you use that as an advantage to, you know, write the best of your music? Um, I definitely use it to, as an advantage to, for what you just said, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> but um, for me to be honest, uh, I always um, see myself as like like uh, I always see myself almost as if it was like a, a movie or a Netflix show. Mm -hmm. So uh, life is a movie. Yeah. So <laughs> seeing my childhood and just the way my life is going, mm -hmm. to me, it's almost like a movie. Like it's 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 too magical for it to not be true or for yeah. it to not to come into something. Yeah. Um, so I just feel like I just gotta play it out. Right. So I kinda just go with my heart and my gut. Right. So I always I'm always thinking about where I come from, mm -hmm. where I started, which is in that kitchen performing for like you know, like my brother's friends or whatever the case was, but that right there is like a it's like a high. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be so surreal because it's just like like you said, as time goes by, you feel me? You probably don't even remember that. Like, you know, you probably you probably remember it but like not really like I'm saying like the feelings of like I like time to like perform. Yeah, like, sometimes I have to look at yeah. pictures of myself when I was little yeah. and be like remind myself like be that little girl right now. Yeah. Even yeah. when I'm writing, I have writer's block. I'm like I have to think like if I was like, a child right now. Yeah, and, and to be honest, like like I said, it's a process, not an event. So this is just you know you know take one. Like next time, you know what I mean? Like that. that Hopefully shit's... next time I look a little bit more you know <laughs> put together. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like just. Just like I always like I've always dreamed too, like going going, you know, in front of those curtains and just like just all you can see is flashing lights. That's scary, you feel me? Sometimes I put the fan on and I'll sing with the fan <laughs> on so I could practice how it's gonna be when I have to sing with people just screaming. Facts, facts, facts. But you it's, it's focus. Yeah, and that's the stuff you see in movies. Yeah. And it's like, where do you think those scenes come from? Like yeah. as artists, yeah. you have to be vulnerable. You yeah. cannot be vulnerable. Yeah. You have to, if you don't, if you're not willing to be vulnerable, you can't really be an artist. Yeah, facts. It's like being a politician. Facts. Like they're gonna eat us alive. Facts. Facts. <laughs> you yeah. spitting, yo. You spitting gay. <laughs> yo, we're like, I'm a politician, bro. What yeah. you mean? I'm going for a cause. This yeah. is a movement. <laughs> facts. Yo, for press. She's for press, no. yo. Uh, no. With that being said, like, just just how you said being vulnerable. Yeah. Let's let's switch let's switch it up a little bit. What does being a female artist mean to you? In terms of not only holding your own weight, but also supporting, you know, uh, you know, the female side of things in terms of, you know, creating your own voice. Because you know, right now the industry it don't have too many people in terms of, uh, of you know, who society wants to accept. Mm -hmm. You know, we got we got we got Megan. You know, we had Nikki. But like, what's crazy to me is like, in each era, in each generation. 
it has to be a new, you know, a new Person. Beyonce, a new yeah. Rihanna, you feel me? So what does, as being a female artist, what does that mean in terms of you and how you want to portray, and how you want to also carry, you know, the female side of things? Um, for me, it's always just being transparent because um, I feel like being a female, I'm still learning every day. Um, and in the world that we live in, sadly, it is very different to be a female how it was back then. Yeah. So sometimes it's confusing um, for me as an artist to even know how should I portray myself, how should I carry myself. Yeah. I want to be accepted by this group of people, but I also don't want to condemn these people from yeah. like, supporting me. Yeah. Um, but like I said, just being transparent. So like those days that I do feel like, you know what, fuck this and that. I want to, yeah. I'm going to be this that yeah. day. I'm yeah. going to be this that day. Yeah. The next day, if I want to be this, as long as every time I do something, I fucking yeah. kill it. Yeah. And I and I give my all. Yeah. It's never an issue. Just yeah. like a Rihanna. She yeah. can give you a bitch, but I have my money or a yeah. stay. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. like, if Facts. she kills both of them, yeah. it's still Rihanna. No, yeah, we're yeah. human. Like, yeah. we're going to do things. It's spontaneous. Facts. Facts. So, Facts. as a fan, you got to be willing to, to, to grow with you. And, and find an artist you. that you're comfortable yeah. going through those changes with. Yeah. Yo, like, like, um, no lie, like, it's mad, it's mad inspiring, and, like, I always, like, I'm mad weird in terms of artists, like, when they get famous, I disappear, because, like, I like seeing growth, I don't know yeah. why, like, I love seeing growth, like, people don't understand, like, as you grow as an artist, people are also growing with you, like, exactly. like, it's kind of exactly. crazy, like, you but like, there's certain artists you still stick yeah, with, like yeah. a, like a J Cole, like yeah, you know. What I'm saying? There's yeah. certain people where he's yeah, just you like, you have to, you have to. It's, it's inevitable, you know I mean? but it's sad, yeah. Cause yeah. It's quick. Yeah. This industry's quick. Bro. Yeah, yeah, it's quick, bro. So, yeah, yeah, in and out. So it's like, you, you know, it. with that stamp and and with that staple, you know, it's not even about longevity. It's more so about all the people you touch. Yeah, to be and what you say, you. bro. Like your yeah. tongue has power. What you say is gonna. Yeah. What sticks is what sticks. Yeah. And yeah. and what's gonna stick is 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 good. Yeah. One of my favorite rappers says it's life and death in the tongue. Exactly. And that's a fact, bro. That's a so fact. So you speak life, you're yeah. giving life. You're going to get life back to you. Facts, bro. Facts. So with that being said, what are some of the challenges you face as being a female artist? What are some What are some challenges that you think you face in terms of where you feel like you got to work, you know, maybe twice as hard, four times as hard? Mm -hmm. What are some of your challenges where you feel like you, you're, you're going through, you know, um, what should like I say? Roadblocks? Yeah, roadblocks, like dead ends and all that. Um, if you have any. For me, well, I feel like for any artist to begin with, before being a female, I feel like for any yeah. artist, um, it's trust. Yeah. Um, trust obviously, issues. any any city you're in, because I'm not gonna just say it's, yeah. it's here, because any city you're in, every, it's every hard city. to trust people, especially when you're working on your craft. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's definitely a roadblock. But being a female, it's almost like a double trusting yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, just because uh, personal experience and just the way I grew up. You can't trust everybody and um right. i've had circumstances where it's like people think that just because i'm pretty that yeah. I, I feel like i'm entitled to certain things and i would never use like my looks for anything yeah so that's yeah. just how people will look at me oh you're pretty i use you for a magazine cover whatever it's yeah. like now listen to my music bro <laughs> like you hear my music you're gonna look right. at me differently right. like you're gonna right. be like oh shit like she's been yeah. through some shit yeah. yeah so it's like not judge a book by its cover i feel like a lot of people have judged me by the way that i look by the way how my social media looks so mm -hmm. that's kind of why i had a be so vulnerable this year and yeah. kind of open up yeah like yo and tell people like yo y'all think it's all glam it's not but like yo it's girl not. used to still soap and dollar tree like yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's like you never know what somebody's going through but i would never let it really show yeah facts facts you know in terms of like that's what i'm you know it's mad annoying because like we're making this podcast like i'm just like yo people don't under really understand you, you want to grab them and be like yeah <laughs> like, listen to her nigga, talk to her in the corner yeah, like just, just ask her about her life real facts, quick facts, that's what facts, i want to do bro all the time facts, but it's like we can't facts you gotta just let it play out and the way that life is going you got apple pay <laughs> like bro mad things are becoming quick so like you got TikTok. like you only got a minute to show niggas like who you are and with saying that it's just like that's not enough like you don't know the pain that i'm going through and it's it's mad sad because i don't know how you feel like when you make you know you, you can make one of your deepest songs you feel me like one of your like deepest songs of something that you've been through and then like you see people vibe out to it and you're just like like it, it's it's a cool it's a cool like how i how i treat it is like it's a cool like feeling yeah. but at the same time it's like yo these niggas don't know what i've been through yeah like but they like, don't know i was writing i was crying facts, and praying like facts, for words like facts. Yeah. but like you know recipes to pop smoke you know he said make your pain you feel me turn it into champagne you feel yeah, me like this it's facts bro <laughs> nah 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 it's facts though nah, like yeah. yo turn your pain into something that's glorious 
and 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 so you're saying that that makes you feel like not to, ch no. not to change roles hold no, on no, no, i ain't no. trying to ask you yeah, questions yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, but you're saying so when people hear like some of your most painful things they're driving out to it it almost bothers you in a way is what you're saying i wouldn't say they're not understanding of the pain that went behind yeah, it yeah I, I wouldn't say so bothering. for me i'm actually the opposite okay for me i like it you know why because it's like even if you don't understand it whatever you listen to sticks yeah yeah so yeah. fuck it just yeah. listen to it because <laughs> what i'm telling you is not bad you know facts, what i'm saying facts, if facts. you could put a whole bunch of other bullshit in your head facts. as, as if, if you, you listen exactly yeah, so yeah. as long as it's like if you vibing out to it cool but it takes time for like i don't know if you ever listen to people and then you go back two months later and you're like oh shit like they kind of kind of fire like yeah, i didn't yeah, even yeah so sometimes yeah. that happens yeah that's 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 always how it is like sometimes you may not Hit it off at the right, the at the first, right time. Yeah. yeah. The time is everything. Maybe time when they listen to it by themselves, it's like, yeah. oh shit, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan feeling what's feeling yeah. so during this song, huh? <laughs> Yo, so we're performing, right? Yeah. Do you My have My favorite thing, right? which I miss doing. Yeah, facts, right. facts, facts. Shout out to uh, pre-COVID, we're coming back. I'm trying to get that new normal, whatever it's gonna be. If, if gonna not, put me in a hologram because I'm ready to facts, perform in front of all y'all with y'all. <laughs> Yo, you can dance too, so tell me about yeah. that. Like, in terms of performing, <clears throat> like, um, do you have stage fright? No. Uh, uh, you you shaking that before you, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy? I have stage fright in front of small crowds. Mm. So like, if y'all have me sing for like, right now. whoever's here right now, Yeah. Okay, it gets a little awkward for yeah. me because I don't know like do I look into like one person's eyes but if yeah. it's a bunch of people nah I love it I'll yeah. be on TV like yeah, yeah. I'll do <laughs> I'll do a comedy show film me the dancing and that comes from uh, my brother having me perform so young like Word. um I don't know if I mentioned but from four years old all the way to about nine years old my brother was uh almost like a boot camp mm. every night just um making me learn dance choreo and songs mm. for no reason whatsoever yeah. like and it was hard <laughs> he was, was a little hard. hard on he was a little hard on me there was times where it was like yo like you're not eating dinner till you finish this yeah. and like my mom being so naive and like she just she loved the know. fact that we were like bonding and stuff yeah. like that uh, my brother's gay by the way y'all it's not none of weird shit but yeah um my brother used to have me just perform he would make my clothes um grammy we used to do like rugs in the living room red carpets and he would have like the pickle shots at the end waiting for me at like such a young age so like for me it's like all i've seen Word. like it's literally Word. all i've ever seen bro Word. i've always had like that older mentality of what i wanted Word. to be Word. when Word. i was older Word. Word. you know damn that's what i'm saying it's just like you you really think and like you really try to sit back and be like yo does everything happen for a reason and then like when you really see the big picture like it shit do. like because when that when that like i said i told her you know you ask something the pressure's grown you know, sometimes like be careful what you ask for. Yeah, too. be careful what you very, ask for. Like we just said, specific. there's life and death in the tongue. So like when you say something, you're saying some true power and powerful things. You feel me? Like if you say you want it all, all's gonna come to you. Like in terms of good things, bad things and and all of that. And so what I be telling people is I tell you this, you know, think about think about like batteries and remotes. There's a positive and negative to make that battery and remote work, you feel me? So you'll never have just positive, like, you know, rest in peace to Biggie. Like he said, more money, more problems, exactly. you feel me? Because there's going to be a lot of people leeching for you, but also people loving you. So it's just like, it's tug of war. You don't know, mm -hmm. you don't really know. And, and it's and it's more so of how you can cope with that exactly. and, and be comfortable with that, you feel me? And I came to reality, reality with that too. I thought like, you know, the more kind of lit you get, the more easier it is and it's like no it's 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 more the only thing that gets easier is that you don't know how to deal with it yeah. so it's just like yeah. yeah so tell me about like now that now just saying that tell me about like expectations like for myself terms, or as far as and in, in terms of yourself but also how you deal with it when in terms of your fans like when fans are asking for something and you know that you know you need some time to make some music yeah. or some time to heal so like how do you how do you deal with that in terms of you know day-to-day -day life like waking up every day and it, you know you may go on the gram or go on some people like i need you i need yeah. you like do you do you do you see those inboxes and respond to them um do I, let them I do most times i do um when i do get to see them i do respond i try to respond to everybody mm -hmm. um and honestly i'm very honest with people i, I don't like you know t say what i'm going on but i'm gonna be honest with you guys on this podcast right. most times um which is probably gonna be the first time i say this out mm -hmm. loud which is weird oh, okay. uh but uh, I come to admit that most times um, I can't put myself first. Mm. So like even if I wake up and I'm having a bad day or I can't do something, sometimes I really do just push myself and make face. Yeah. And it's not to suppress anything. It's yeah. also, it's just, 
you gotta keep going. Right, right. I can't stop. If I right. stop, like nobody's gonna do for me. Right, right. So it's like even if I'm going through something, I'm probably still gonna get music. Right, right. Even if there's a standstill, there's always something. I always have to be doing something. That's yeah. just something that's always been in me since Staying I was little. Nah, yeah, productive. always, always, always. You gotta stay productive. So, even if I have to cry through it, I cry through it. Facts. Um throughout your years of just being an artist. Like, is there something that continuously happens to you in which it's like the same roadblock and you're just like coming at it each year, like, boom, like, come on, like, knock this down. Like, is there like yeah. a continuous roadblock that you're like, why the hell am I facing this like all the time? Yeah, I think one of the main, the main roadblocks is, uh, I just wanted to say, um, just money. money yeah. It's money. Um, yeah. Cause I don't have any problem. I had, you know, more than obviously more than three managers, yeah. um, and each one has done what they needed to do in that time being. So yeah, it's not really to like talk about that, but it's more so like if I had the money to do what I needed to do, which and everybody can say this. Yeah. I know everybody can yeah. talk out their ass and be like, if I had it, I could yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not that easy. But um, in the music, it is easier when you have money yeah. to, to to do videos, to drop something, to do a cover art, to do to get the connections, take those flights do the studio time so it's like money talks um but i feel like recently i've met a lot of amazing people who right now thank god i've my finances are better than ever and i found people who i can connect with and i think now it's just about investing Word. and like being smart about where i put my money mm. so investing yeah i might have to head over to the dms like teach me how to invest <laughs> nah but investments is everything like you know you got to be smart with your money there's there's, there's a difference between working hard and working smart. Exactly. Like, bro, work, I always try to tell- Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, work smarter, not harder, yeah. bro. Like, you'll kill yourself, bro, working five or six jobs because how can you go to the studio after working exactly. three jobs, you know? You got the bread, but also you got mad stress on you. Yeah. So it's just like, how can you maneuver through, you know, the game in order to want to achieve what you want? And sustain a daily but, life. Yeah, but yeah, sustain a daily life because you're not there just, was times I wouldn't buy food in yeah. order to get the transportation to get to a studio time. Yeah, yeah. And then I would be like, yo, no bullshit, I'm hungry as shit. And yeah. I would leave and I'd be like, yo, I'm still hungry. And for some crazy reason, somebody would be like, I'll have somebody get me food. Yeah. Or I'll find, like, yo, it's just, yeah. things just kind of happen in a, a weird way. Yeah, you got to sacrifice something. Yeah, and someone whatever, has to be a sacrifice. Yeah, whatever it is, whatever it is, it is. You yeah. feel me? Like, it's all going to pay out at the end. Um, with this being said, right? Tell us a little bit more about TikTok and how that helps support your branding. My baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a weird obsession with TikTok, y'all. I used to, well, it's funny because I used to hate it. So I first got into it last year in February. Okay. Um, it, I didn't post nothing. It was just for like me watching people's videos and stuff like that. Um, but I kind of seen a re a reoccurring like trend, mm -hmm. and for me, um, it was more so like just one type of like girl was going viral and one type of guy was going viral and I was like I don't know how I'm gonna like fit into this <laughs> community because I'm a Latina first first and foremost I'm a Latina second okay. I don't speak formally third I can't do the little yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. so I was like what am I gonna do yeah um so it took me from February to November my manager was on my ass like you gotta learn TikTok like I'm gonna I'm gonna get you the LEDs the mic all that mm -hmm. he ordered everything from Amazon got it yeah. shipped to my crib yeah. I set everything up sitting there with the LEDs flashing and I'm like <laughs> Okay, he calls me. He's like, oh, now we gotta do the camera setup. So mm -hmm. I learned how to camera set up. I learned how to um, basically set up lights to like hit yeah. and all that type of stuff, which I didn't know before, y'all. So I had to like teach myself yeah. and also how to edit on the app, Word. which was on, like on TikTok lyrics. Yeah. So my okay. thing was, if I'm a hit, I'm gonna do it with my music. Yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, course, right, you, you know what I'm saying. I first started off with like little goofy videos. I had to find my lane, and mm -hmm. covers was it okay, for me. Yeah. Um, I posted a, co a couple singing covers where. Um, I had to put the lyrics and putting the lyrics is fucking hard, yo. Like, yeah. It's like you gotta go by your mouth, bro. You're not hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, yeah. you know. So yeah, I don't know if yeah. you know what I'm talking nah, about. I'm saying the timing of yeah, your mouth and yeah. You gotta be perfect, yeah. and I'm doing that on a small little iPhone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was hard. It was frustrating. I was crying. <laughs> I, would, I would post it and it'll go like to 12 views, and I would call <laughs> it like crying, crying. No, I'm, I'm talking about books out and all that, y'all. Like yeah. I can't do this, like. It's gonna be the end of my career. He's yeah. like, no bullshit. It is if you don't yeah. if you don't learn TikTok. Yeah. He said if you don't. He yeah. told me if you don't go viral, you can't drop a song. Damn. So you know what I did, yo. <laughs> that night yeah, I did said like, it is. yo, I did like eight TikToks that night, right? Damn, yeah. Singing and rapping. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? One got a hit. Mm -hmm. I got on my hands and knees, bro. I started praying. I'm like, oh, this thing gonna go viral. Just one. I need to drop some music. I need yeah. to see that fan base because yeah. I need somebody to hear it. Mm -hmm. I need people to hear it. <laughs> 
I woke up, bro. I, w I woke up. Three of my videos was past 100,000K in one night. That was less than 24 hours when I posted it. That's crazy. So it was still going. Like, my yeah, phone was yeah, just yeah, buzzing. For a straight. Buzz. It's still going to this day. Yeah. I keep refreshing. And yeah. you can check my phone, bro. It's still going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're not crying and anymore, right? And now I love right? TikTok now. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, you on it, Now yo. I love TikTok. It, it was nuts, bro, but it took me literally, bro, Some like... time. Taking a video, spending an hour to just to just record it on GarageBand, my verse, mm -hmm. then let alone transfer it, set up the camera like y'all just did before this. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I understand the struggle, bro. Yeah. Of all that kind of stuff, it, it was frustrating. Then still not having to be sweaty from the makeup that I have to, you know what <laughs> facts, I'm saying? Facts, in a, facts, a little facts, room. Facts. And I'm like in blunts between every take because I'm like, facts. I'm getting pissed. Yeah. Then I got to lip sync it for the camera yeah. and then align the, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. just a whole lot, y'all. Yeah, we yeah, didn't want to get yeah, into that. Yeah, don't, don't do that. That's, but that's a process. But I also, one key thing that I want to give y'all a little pointer in, because okay. I'm not going to keep nothing from y'all. Uh -huh. I learned TikTok through YouTube. Okay. Every night YouTube, I used to watch, university, yes, that's I learned TikTok mean. algorithms. Facts. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but every app has an algorithm. Mm -hmm. Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all of them. Mm -hmm. If you search up TikTok's algorithm, it will literally tell you what time to post, hashtags, what word, to post, word. book, everything. Word. So, that's how She's I learned TikTok. Free game, bro. Not I even TikTok 99 YouTube, cents. I might have to. I might have to put some monetizing in Yo, this video because no you're giving free YouTube, game, bro. YouTube is 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 your is your is your main thing. That's like Google for us. Yeah. Nah, like literally, like YouTube. I call it YouTube University. Like no yeah, cap, bro. Yeah, you learn anything. Learn mad things. It's at the it's at the it's at the you know tips of your fingertips now, bro. Bing. You feel me? Exactly. So word. Let's talk about you know your new single coming out. You know. Ooh. Your, 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 you know, your, your, your little, your little baby, you feel me? Yeah, Look, so... Let's talk about a little baby. Little baby. Yeah. Well, little baby's not on the song, but... <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. Um, yeah, No Love. So, No Love was a, was a freestyle posted on TikTok that went viral. Okay. And everybody's been busting my chops. <laughs> they want me to drop it. So they drop could, it! So they could pop, lock, and drop it this summer. Drop But, um, yeah, it was, I was in my feels when I wrote that song, bro. With that little freestyle, it was like, small ways, pretty face. Um, it is a little bit outside of what... I've you know shown you guys as an artist, um, but it's still me. Um, it's just the decennia of when I'm gonna go party with my girls, when yeah. I'm getting ready, when I just got my heart broken. And I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to work on me. Yeah. That's the song. Yeah. And I feel like even dudes can relate. It's like I don't want no love. I just yeah. want to fuck. Like it's some real shit. Like it's blunt. Like you know why I'm here. You know why I came to the club looking like this. I'm not trying to leave with nobody. Like Facts. you know what I'm saying. If Facts. we leave, you know what's about to go down. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. don't call me the next day. Like. <laughs> So that's kind of like the vibes that that song is on. Yeah. So I'm excited for y'all to hear it, and especially right. for my for my queens because the girls been going crazy. Bro. I had everybody doing videos with their boyfriend in the background, real mad, like real <laughs> salty, but like real sad and for shit. Real, but yeah, okay, okay. So with that being said, you know we we want to just first thank you for everything that. Thank you, done. you bro. Yeah, thank you. No yeah. bullshit. This this was an experience I never did. An, I haven't done an interview, y'all, and I haven't did one let alone outside. So I think we did like two double whammies today. Bro, we, we we got we got ducks yeah. in the back of us swimming. We do gotta leave vibing. before sundown because I heard there's a serial clown killer in the back. <laughs> He nah. running around killing people. Nah, you you better be chill. So let's <laughs> let's get this let's get this going quick. All right, uh, yo, leave us with a quote that resonates with you that helps Ooh. you con continue on with your dream and your passion. Anything like a we've quote. said it multiple times in this interview. Actually, okay. my favorite quote of my whole whole life: Everything happens for a reason. And I always say that. So he's laughing, crying when you get hurt. Everything when you, happens. When you just got for dig reason. down. Everything happens for a reason. Word. You know what I'm saying? Everything. 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 Todo. Say it, say it. How you say it? How you, how you say it? Oh, don't make me do that. I'm a master leadership. Todo something something. I don't even know. <laughs> speak it, speak it Spanish. Todo, todo pasa por, what, what is it? You Spanish, bro? What is it? Todo pasa por what? Por un razón. Por un razón. Wait, wait. Por un razón. Por un razón. No. <laughs> todo All right, pasa whatever. por un razón. Hey, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Todo, wait. You can't do that to me, bro. <laughs> One more time, one more time. Everything happens for a reason. Todo pasa por razón. Ah, ah, ah. Once again, yo, it's Jay and it's also Jesse. Uh, Jacenia, you know, how do we follow you? How can we stalk you? For those that don't know you. Jacenia the singer on Instagram, XO Jacenia XO on TikTok. But if you find me on either one of those, there's a link in my bio to all my social media. Link in the bio, you're, you're, oh, you're, you're, yo, we out, we out. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Peace. Someone to make me wetter Never gonna stop Straight to the top Yeah, mama raise a go-getter